have here in Studio Logic SL88 Studio, and I uh, really liked it. It's kind of a MIDI controller, of course, but has no sound. Um, and um, it's really nice, I really liked it. Um, they both have Fatar, uh, this is also an, an SL88 Grand. Uh, they both have the Fatar uh, key beds, but this one is a TP100LR uh, plastic keys um, and uh, not graded action, uh, meaning uh, that it's the same uh, weight across the key bed, um, whereas on a piano, normally the lower keys are a little heavier and the higher keys are lighter. Um, and uh, this has a, the Fatar keybed of TP40 wood. And as you can see in here, it has actual wood on the side of the keys. Uh, it's graded action, so the, the weight of these keys at this end are heavier uh, than on this end, where it's lighter and kind of tickles, tickle them. It has like an, a more ivory feeling feel to the keys and texture. A little bit. Um, nice feel. Uh, this key that I felt feels a lot, well, feels heavier. The action is heavier. And I did a little test with nickels um, to see how heavy they are to compare it to a, 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 a piano I have um, because I don't have any uh, weight, gram weight sets. But each nickel is between four and a half to five grams and actually used a scale to measure. Um, so if you're curious, the, um, the uh, SL88 Studio, the keys all across are the same, and it took uh, 24 nickels, 24 nickels to weigh the key down to play a note all across, uh, which amounts to 119 grams of weight to push it down. Whereas the Grand, I have my notes here, uh, it took on this side, actually the middle C, uh, 17 nickels, so 24 across here, 17 on the middle C here, uh, weighing 84 grams. Uh, but on the, the, the high side, the high C took 12 nickels and 59 grams. So 12 nickels, 17 nickels. So and on the high side, I found it took 19 nickels or 94 grams of weight to weigh it down and play the note. You know, something like this fashion. Um, another a nice thing about these keyboard controllers, uh, besides the uh, weighted action, uh, realistic piano, is they both have aftertouch, which sounds like this. You have this guitar sound, and after touch is when you press the key and you press it down further, you get an effect. In this case, a vibrato. This one uh, does a pitch bend. Same on the top. So that's pretty neat. You can program that to do different things on different virtual instruments. And uh, you can set the different velocity curves. You can go into the software on your computer and really have control of the um, velocity curves as well as the what they call the weight of each key. Um, they each have three sensors on each key. Uh, so you can do a lot of these, pretty cool.
They have uh, three sticks, uh, different configurations that can be programmed to do things. And it can be programmed for four zones. So I really like the SL88 Studio and I like the SL88 Grand more for the piano feel and playing piano. A little less fatiguing on the hands to play on the Grand than I found on the SL88 Studio. But it may break in. It may break in and soften up a little. I'm not sure. Uh, by the way, Studio Logic is actually uh, owned by Fatar, who actually makes the keybeds and a lot of different manufacturing uh, keyboards. So uh, they definitely know how to utilize their own keybeds. This uh, SL88 Studio and the 73 are currently $499 which is a really great value for uh, a keypad this, this great. Um, weighted um, and the features. Um, it also, this one weighs 30 pounds. Uh, so fairly portable, 30 pounds. Uh, the 73 obviously would weigh less. And the Grand with the wooden keys uh, weighs 46 pounds. I think 45.8 pounds, so uh, add another 15, 16 pounds uh, for the wood keys. Um, but great value. This one uh, is uh, retailing now at $9.99. Not, not, not too bad for graded uh, weighted keys with real wood and aftertouch, uh, which a lot of keyboards don't have. Um, so yeah, $4.99 and $9.99, so uh, pretty good value especially for the SL88 Studio and the SL73 Studio, which is the same as this, both only 73 keys. All right, so check this out. It also has this magnetic system where you can add accessories. I'll just drop that one. It has this magnetic system. There's a rail back here where this notch fits in. Um, and you can get accessories that come with two of these things. And, uh, this one's a computer plate, but basically you stick that in there and I already have one of them in here. And th this has magnets on the back too. that stick right to the front part here. And you just do this here, just like that. And this thing's not going anywhere. It's in there really sturdy and put your computer right there. They also make a mu music stand that works the same way. And the rail goes all the way across, so you can put it in anywhere you want across there. So that's a pretty neat feature of both the studio and the grand. I'll put a link in the description and if you have any questions feel free to leave them below. I'll try to get answer them. Thank you.